February is Black History Month. Have you ever wondered how Black History Month began? Well, did you know Black History Month grew from what was known as Negro History Week, developed in 1926 and founded by historian Carter G. Woodson and other prominent African Americans who are members of the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. Dr. Woodson, known as the father of Black History, believed that Blacks should know their past in order to participate intelligently in the affairs of our country as we should know our history to become productive citizens in our society. February was selected because of the birthdays of President Abraham Lincoln, born February 12, 1809, and Frederick Douglass celebrated birthday February 14, 1818. Years following the development of Negro History Week, Mayors of various cities across the country began issuing yearly proclamations recognizing Negro History Week. Thanks to the works of those during the Civil Rights Movement, by the late 1960s, Negro History Week had evolved into Black History Month on many college campuses. President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month in 1976, calling upon the public to seize the opportunity to honor the too often neglected accomplishments of Black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. Since then, each president has issued annual proclamations for National African American History Month. In 2020, we saw a resurgence of social activism and conversations about anti-racism. In 2021, this is the perfect opportunity to educate, uplift others, and advocate for change. But in order to create genuine connections, remember to support and collaborate with small businesses, community leaders, and creators year-round. Black History Month would be a great time to start. Thank you for tuning in for this installment of Black History, Did You Know? I'm LaToya Clemens, Program Manager for WJAB-TV.